Patellofemoral pain syndrome is a common clinical entity in runners, and PFPS is used to describe a variety of pathologic conditions associated with the articulation between the undersurface of the patella and the femoral condyles. It is one of the most common disorders of the knee and accounts for nearly 25% of all knee injuries treated in sports medicine clinics. PFPS is extremely common among runners representing one-off, if not the most common running-related injury. So in this video, let's take a look at a rehab protocol targeted at runners. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Management of PFPS can be challenging due to the multifactorial nature of the condition and with persistent symptoms reported in as many as 91% of patients at long-term follow-up. Based on current evidence and clinical practice, exercise therapy forms the cornerstone of management for patellofemoral pain. Initial management includes activity modification, short course of painkillers and modalities such as taping or orthotics for pain relief. Following this phase, it is important the patient is provided with a comprehensive rehab program tailored to the individual deficits as highlighted in the examination findings. In 2016, Escurier and colleagues set up a quasi-experimental study to investigate the effects of an eight-week rehab program for PFPS in runners in which they measured changes in the COS ADL questionnaire, VAS scores, changes in ground reaction force during running, lower limb strength, as well as a global rating of change. At eight weeks, the program was successful in reducing symptoms and level of disability beyond the clinically important difference. So let's take a look at the protocol. The eight-week rehab program was subdivided into four phases, each lasting two weeks. Participants were instructed to carry out the exercises three times a week. Phase one included the following exercises.
Oh, 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 oh,
with any intervention, advice should play a key role during rehab. Next to the exercises, the participants in the study received information regarding, among others, step frequency during running, their foot strike pattern, training frequency and volume, as well as to avoid downhill running. In case you want to learn more on how to rehab the injured runner, make sure to sign up for the soon-to-be-released online course on running rehabilitation that we developed with Benoit Matthew from the UK. It's a really, really comprehensive resource on all you need to know to properly manage running-related injuries. Links are in the video description down below in case you want to learn more. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you want, you can check out another PFPS Rehab protocol by clicking on the video to my left. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.